guys welcome to my youtube channel so what we have today mm. is a uh, uh, fire refrigerator so the client is complaining that uh, there is no ice inside the fridge so this is the freezer compartment as you can see we have liquid inside and the fridge has been running since yesterday and it's like this so firstly what we have to do obviously this uh, refrigerator compartment is not cold too so what you have to do first is to check here at the back so if you check at the back here you have to look at the to look at the discharge pipe as you can see this is our compressor right there and this is our discharge pipe which is going to the condenser right there. so if you touch it here it's warm but not that well mm -hmm. so you have to touch this coil first mm -hmm. like this then this one is 100 percent cold so we know that we're out of refrigerant or either the compressor is not working fine so guys what i'm going to do right now is to to change this filter dryer every time we recharge the system you have to change the filter dryer and secondly i have to cut this uh, the door it has you can see that the condenser is like this the pipe is getting inside the condenser here and outside the end from here it goes inside the fridge then out to the capillary tube then so to the filter dry then the capillary tube so what we have to do now is to cut here and put the filter dry right here because mostly this uh, door heater condenser is the one that starts to leak first so right now what i'm going to do is to to switch off the fridge then we'll put a charging valve right there then after putting the charging valve right there um, i run it to see if it's getting inside in the vacuum to see either the compressor is okay or not then replace the filter dry then recharge the system so guys this is what i'm going to do right now okay guys so right now i'm cutting this one as you can hear that is saying psh. so the gas is inside there but i don't think it's as much you can see that there is no much gas and also you have to see that right there we are using uh r134 a refrigerant if you can see right there yes mm -hmm. so we have to remove this one and put the charging valve okay so right now we're just going to pause and put the charging valve okay guys so right now i put the charging valve right there so guys always remember that when you're working with electricity you have to make sure that everything is flat and plugged as you can see that this is my plan here it's not plugged also guys as we're waiting for 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 the charging valve right here to cool down let me just ask you so as you can see this refrigerator right here uh, what size do you think it is suppose you are placing a compressor what size of compressor are you going to put right here i just want to ask you to say what size from what you can see on the video what is the size of compressor in horsepower hp okay so guys uh, right now it has cooled down that we can force it to cool using uh, a wood cloth so guys i have cleaned using uh, a script board this one uh, these days i prefer to use the script board to clean i think it's fast and efficient so another thing guys i i will put it like this because i want to cut it after saving the fridge i'm going to remove it so as i've told you earlier we're going to cut here we're going to cut right there to cut right here this player is quite old but yes yes so instead of putting the charging valve sorry the filter dry there i'm going to put it there and remove the the cobbler tube and put it so let me pause and do it yeah okay guys so right now i have put the a new filter dry as you can see uh this is our new filter dry and the older one is there and I've also put a coupler UV here on the end of the discharge. So you can see right there that this coupler is the one that I'm going to use to do um, vacuum. Okay, so right now I have to take the the valve in back inside here. Okay. Then um, after that I'm going to put the gauges and do vacuum on the system okay so right now i'm going to move my gauges right there 
yeah okay guys so i've moved my gauges you can see this is our refrigerator in there it's around three four eight like this okay and right there we have our gauges we're using the yellow side one the blue one and so right now what we're going to do is to switch on the fridge and this one should go in vacuum you can see right now is it at the at the zero it is to go down there in vacuum so what i'm going to do is to switch it off and see yeah, you can hear this. So this is all what we want to do, right? Here to do vacuum. You can see here when our gauge is going into vacuum. So this is the sole purpose of doing of putting the scapular tube over there. Okay guys, so right now we have to wait for at least 15 minutes to give it time to do vacuum. You can feel that there's still a lot of pressure right there. And this one also is closed right there. It's closed. So to give it time until it's quiet. Then I know that we have a perfect vacuum right there. Yeah, so guys, uh, 20 minutes has passed now. So right now I want to show you. You still remember that there was air coming out of this. You can see that this one is in vacuum right there. And also, mm, if I put fire right there, you can see that there is nothing blowing the flame right there. So it simply means that we have achieved a perfect vacuum so something else you can see. if you listen you can hear that it's still running the compressor so what we have to do right now is to go right there and switch it off and close this hole right there at the coupler should be the end and fill the gas you also you can see that i've closed it right there so what we have to do now is to just put it nicely right there okay then like that <clears throat> okay so what we have to do right now you can see that we're still in vacuum so what we have to do now is to put fridge in myself i prefer to put a uh, liquid in since they make the fridge is off i prefer to put uh, liquid refrigerant uh, voila. okay Okay guys, so right now what I have to do is to open here, now I've opened it, now I have to put it upside down like this. So from what I have seen over the past few years, I've seen that if you put around 4-5 PSI right there of liquid refrigerant, then it will be fine. But we have also to check the running pressure. So if you look right there on our side glass, you can see that it's, it's it's liquid refrigerant look right there if you look the inside the side glass you can see that it's liquid refrigerant yes so you have to force it in this okay Yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to close it and switch on the fridge. Okay, guys. When you are putting the fridge inside the, the fridge, uh, what we want is the running pressure. Like right now, the fridge is running at zero psi. So the accepted range that we want is from at least five psi to fifteen psi, sixteen psi, right there. So at least from half between zero and ten, and between twenty and ten psi right there. So to, to add the refrigerant, and note that this one is standing upright because one is never inside the system. Okay, close it. Give it some time to run. Give it time to run. Yes, it's quite hot. You can feel that all the the coils are hot. Okay guys, so basically this is how you refill the system. So I will show you guys after I have done refilling the system where I left it the pressure. Yeah, as you can see guys, I have put it on 15 PSI, which is the maximum possible. So right now what I have to do is to disconnect everything 
then you are good to go and give you some time to run so thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for comments uh, comment if you like this video subscribe and share with friends see you next time